Nobody. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all a little tour of my desk. All right, so we're gonna start off. We have my little evil eye monument, my little evil eye decoration. This was actually like a waste of money. It fell and then it break and then like all the little leaves of the floor like breaking off and they also like losing the paint. So it's like a little lose it with some money. Have my little crystal right here. Then a candle. It's an orange pineapple punch candle from Bath and Body Works. Then I have my little victory jar that I created. You could say back in March or so. Papers to go in it and then some jewelry. Then at the bottom here I have my bible a pencil case um this is some receipts i have a pins organizer um let me show you on. so y'all see you have pins clips and then these stuff what do you call them but like little school tools and some thank you cards and then a little soap and i have my little speaker that my job gave me super cute super nice I haven't really been using it that much. I have some Q-tips. Y'all already know. Then right here you have my pencil slash little notepads organizer. So I have markers, pens, crayons, um, anything and everything. <laughs> USB keys, some notepads, some erasers. A whole bunch of things inside of here. Then I have these books that I have to go through and wonder if I should throw them away or not. But I think I might just throw with this one. This is an old journal, so I don't think I'll throw with this one. Probably just this one and this old agenda that I won't be using again. Then we have my little trash that I throw with paper. Everything that's paper. I try not to put anything that's snacks or juice. And then on this side, I have uh, my school books, my folders and everything, some hand sanitizer that I carry in my bag. Then right here, I have my budget planner, some books, Bible again, Lysol candle, and another candle right here. And then at the back, you have like more books. So that's my desk. Nothing big, nothing major. Um, but in today's video, we're talking about back to school organization, some advice, some tips and tricks that you guys can probably use. And of course, we can also be setting some goals for the new school year. Um, I have two se semesters, so we're going to be setting goals for semester one for now, and then later on in the few next months, I'm going to be setting goals for the second semester. I currently have school this week, so today is Wednesday. We basically started our first semester already. Um, recently on one of my last two videos, I get a comment asking me um, what's my minor major. So I don't know how we say it in English, but I kind of gave you guys an answer. Wait, let me see if I can find it. So he's, well, he was like, I mean, at your college, freshman, sophomore, junior, and what's your minor major subjects? So I said, it's quite difficult to explain, but I study sales and marketing and I finished college. I'm 20 years old and I'm doing an extra two year courses. From what he understood was I'm doing a master's course. But for us, the master's is like three years, three to five years. And I'm not at that level, you know. So I looked up on Google, did my little research and I said I will call it vocational technical school so I'm doing an associate degree so that's what I'm doing actually you know so here's I wish you all the best in life I have my master's in total psychology which is interesting I never heard that before all me replies to comments I'll be replying to comments I don't like take me seriously I'll be replying to comments so that's what I'm studying um so to go more in depth about my study I work and go to school at the same time. So within a month, I have one week of school and two weeks of job training. So two weeks, I'm on a job. And then that one week, which is like this week, I'm at school, you understand? So that's what I do. And that's um, a two year thing. So I just finished my first year and we're now heading into the second year, first semester. So yeah, 
let me show y'all my little um, school planning. Let me show y'all like what I study during the week. So they gave us like this yearly planning for the new school year. So we have one week of school in September, two weeks in February. Let me find my birthday. <gasps> my the exams follow my birthday. Oh hell no. Oh hell no. Let me tell y'all my weekly planning and it's like quite rough we have like this one teacher all week and he's teaching us like all the subjects like it's crazy i start eight every day except thursday i start at 9 a.m i finish five on mondays and then the rest of the week is 4 p.m i have the same teacher on monday tuesday thursday and friday for the whole day and it's only on wednesdays when we have two different teachers for english and you could say French. The other class is like economics, management, and stuff like that, you know? That's how my school is. That's how it's planned out. Okay, so now that you guys know what I'm studying, try and set goals. I don't have a specific thing to write my goals on, but I think that I'll write it in my handy dandy notebook. So is this notebook that I could also write it in my journal. But I find that this notebook, I open it every day. I'm gonna grab a pen. I'm gonna write um, back to school goals. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna start off with is our main goals. So I have about four main goals I want to achieve for this school year. And most of them are basically grades related slash exam related. For example, you'll see I'll write dossier and they'll say it's like a project I have to mount up throughout the whole two years and at the end of the two years I have to like present it to the judges. It's been a year and I basically reached page three I think. I really need to start to work my butt off for this. So you're gonna start by defining your main goals, what you want to achieve by the end of the school year or before the end of the school year. And then after the main goals, we're going to cut them down, make them smaller, then make them into smaller goals. One of the main goals that I have is to make study notes for my exam. So one of my smaller goals would be to make study notes every two chapters in each subject. Another thing that these small goals could be compared to is semester goals. So these small goals is things that I want to keep up for each semester. Now that we set our goals, so I have a whole back to school series on my child, you can check that out, you'll see my 6 a.m. morning routine, you'll also find my night routine that's not out as yet when I'm filming this video, but I'm pretty sure that it'll be out by the time I upload this video. So if you're watching this, check my channel to see if the night routine is up. Routines are very, very important if you want to stay disciplined if you want to stay motivated organized for school um, we all know that school could be a difficult thing but having routines just makes everything easier everything more organized and of course keeps you and your mind your mental health from going crazy and all over the place you understand so now i'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks that will be helpful to you guys when it comes to Staying organized, staying disciplined throughout the whole school year. So we're gonna start by some basic things. Take notes throughout the semester. These notes could be very helpful for the end of the school year when you wanna study or just before an exam. They're very, very helpful because you'll be like, oh, I took notes, so let me go back over my notes, my handwritten notes, or like if you have like an iPad or whatever, let me go back over my notes and see what I wrote on this day. You know, things that really marked me. Because me as a person, I forget some things and if I don't write it, then I practically won't remember by the time I have a exam. So I will suggest myself to read my notes and also read it out loud to myself. That's, that helps. You know, everybody have their own way of remembering stuff. Some are by seeing something, hearing something, or even saying something. And to me, I didn't really find that as yet, but I think that is the fact that I learn 
through anything and also something specifically so I think that I learn by seeing, hearing or saying something. Now everything that's homework. I'm gonna take my old agenda as an example. Let me try see get something. On March 14th I have do questions 10 11 of chapter 6 in relations customer service and negotiation and sales mm -hmm. i'm gonna say like that in english because it's not like that in french it's relation clear in negotiation part something i used to do was write down the homeworks a day before the due date so like that i know that i have it done um the only con of this technique is that I usually put it in books that I have for the Monday and then when Tuesday comes, when the subject comes around, when the chair comes around, I don't have the exercise. But that's because I don't carry all my books with me. For example, let's say if you have a group work that's due on January 10th, you're going to write it down for January 6th or 5th. You know, give yourself at least a few days to have it all done and probably go over it in case you have like any little mistakes and then you can study it all together with your classmates but now if you write it down for the due date in the ninth then it doesn't give you enough time to study it over so that when you have to go present it in front of the teacher you're as comfy enough now everything that's preparation please prepare your school bag the night before like you could literally do that the night before like it's better than doing it in the morning for example imagine you wake up late and then you don't have no time to do your bag you rush out the house reach to school you don't have no pencil case you don't have a bottle of water you don't have your lunch okay you can't put your lunch in your bag from the night before but let's say you don't have your lunch you don't have no snacks nothing whatsoever guys you will feel so bad. Imagine you forget your, your book. How are you going to get lunch? How are you going to buy lunch or anything like that? So you could pack your bag in Harmony at night or just after you finish school. Let's say just after you finish school today, you could pack your bag for the next day right after as soon as you reach home. You know, it's not that difficult. It's not that hard. Something that I do um, also the night before is to prepare my lunch for the next day. For example, let's say my mom cooked um, lunch today, I'll probably have the for dinner and I won't have it for lunch because I'm at school for lunch time. So I'll have it for dinner tonight and then I could pack a little bowl and have it for my lunch tomorrow the next day. See? See that? Is it easy? Is it do that? Yeah. My school, thank God, has a microwave so I could have my lunch there. Um, if your school doesn't have a microwave, then I would say to hot up your lunch in the morning. But make sure you don't leave it uncovered. Make sure you don't put it back in the fridge or anything like that. Because it can get bacteria and cause you to get sick. Okay, so now let's talk about sleep schedule. I know most of you might be scratching your head. I'll be like, damn girl, I have been sleeping. I've been going to sleep late and this and that. Me too. My work hours and my school hours are quite different. I start 8 at school and I start 9 for work. So it's like my brain is set to wake up at 6 30, 7 a.m. Meanwhile, I need to be woke, I need to be up by 6 a.m. for school, you know? And I don't want to put no alarm because I just hate it. Normally you're supposed to get eight hours of sleep. If I go sleep eleven, wake up seven, I actually get eight hours. But I need to be asleep by 9 30, 11 10 30 max 10 45 max if you don't even have a sleep schedule please work on it please work on that so all these tips will basically help you for time management goal setting planning scheduling prioritizing because you need to set your priorities straight let me give you guys some tips on how to get straight is the first thing is to sit in front of the class if you are following me on instagram my name is down in the description box you'll see that when i post stories of when i'm in class you will see like i'm the first person in the row i literally sit in front of the teacher like right in front like I'm face to face with the teacher then i said get some sleep take notes 
another helpful tip is for example let's say you fell sick you missed a couple days um, from school you missed a couple of school days you missed some classes and you want to catch back up you want to know where you guys stopped off get yourself a study buddy this person is a person that you can go to without problem without trouble you can go to them ask them for their notes ask them what they do um, in school and of course this person needs to be on top of everything just like you and of course that person has to be able to rely on you as well for when they are sick and you're at school you should be taking notes and everything with for that person and for yourself of course and then that person could also be um, the person you revise with for exams and stuff like that you know them type of thing and type of friendships ask questions in class when you don't understand something ask questions participate no procrastinating that's for sure if you guys want to get more tips more videos like this for back to school series if you have any video ideas comment them down below or dm me on instagram so yeah um <clears throat> so where i was going with this is comment some video ideas that you want me to do for this back to school series because it'll be going on until the middle of september basically so you have if you have any ideas let me know so i can make them for you guys um and i have like four i have like two more videos to add in this back to school series so yeah just stay tuned okay it's coming it's coming thank you guys for watching i'm gonna see y'all in the next one bye